The contradictions within the separatist regime in Karabakh are deepening. Karabakh Authority, the illegal armed groups in Kankendi, does not calm down. And now the process of constitutional change has started. I do not believe in their stated goals. There are other ways to achieve these goals. And they know it very well. The problem lies elsewhere. Arakin's never-ending effort to please everyone, to satisfy everyone. Moreover, when I say everyone, I really mean everyone. Aliyev, Pashinyan. Putin, the Karabakh elite, the Armenian opposition, etc. This was said by Armenian political scientist Grant Malik Shanazarian, and he thinks he can do it. Does Aliyev want Ruben Vardanya to leave Karabakh? Areik says, come on. Does Pashinyan want to appoint Samvel Babayan to the position of Karabakh? Areik answers, yes. Do Russians have dreams? Areik says again, no problem. This is how they live, by making a decision today and changing it the next day. Such is Arut Union's tactics. Now the constitution is being amended. They say that this is done at the request of Samvel Babayan. The latter wants to be the prime minister in Karabakh, or it can be president. Of course, this will be Arekin's last service to Karabakh. Of course, if he doesn't change his mind again tomorrow, he said. It should be noted that Harut Yunyan is trying to amend the constitution if the presidential post becomes vacant. According to his proposal, in case of force majeure or martial law, when the president resigns or dies, the parliament can elect a new president. Samvel Babanyan's intention to become prime minister will intensify the contradictions within the separatist regime in Karabakh because Ruben Vardanyan, the Russian billionaire of Armenian origin, currently holds this position, does not want to leave his position. He resists. Therefore, we can expect further increase of conflict within the separatist regime in Karabakh.